Hello and Happy New Year! Welcome to the next video. Today's video is a tutorial of how to put a true spider into a dome. We're going to be going through two different setting positions, one flat one and then I've put in a time lapse of how to do one in a raised position so you can then put it onto some cork bark. Um, then the video will follow into how to set up your dome, putting in dried flowers or different other pieces that you want to put in and then the finished product with a few different things, uh, examples of things I've done to show you what you could make. Uh, if you ever want any taxidermy done or framed or domed or commissions then please contact me. I'll leave all my information in the description. I'm more than happy to come up with some ideas with you, um, so let me know. Other than that, let's get into the video. Face in your face. So first of all, you take your rehydrated true spider, this one is actually in Huntsman, I will just say now that the one in the end in the dome is not the same spider as this one. These are just examples to show you how to pin them. So you just start by unfolding the legs very carefully. Now I don't think I let this one hydrate as long as I should have really, it's a little bit stiff. You need to give them at least a few days, these true spiders in the fridge uh, rehydrating on wet tissue just so they don't go mouldy that's why you keep them in the fridge just being very gentle so you just want to get into basic shape abdomen's a little bit wobbly on this one but there's nothing you can sort out once it's dried back up you pop a pin through the middle of the carapace. Then you want to start positioning your legs. As you can see, one of the legs has come off, but we can sort that out later. I'm just pushing the abdomen back in. Now this this spider, I'm just showing you how to pin flat. Now I know I've done that a few times before, but I'm just showing you the variations and how you can put it into a dome flat or raised. These spiders are really fiddly. Actually, I find them the most fiddly out of everything I've pinned. I will just add, if any legs do come off, they are easily fixable, you know, as long as they don't fall to bits, you can easily stick them back on with some craft glue or super glue. Uh, just be wary with super glue, as I say, as it's very smelly, and if you have inverts in the same room, that's not a good idea at all. Poisonous. I'm just going to let you watch me finish placing the legs out. Just want to make sure it's symmetrical. Then we'll get into the next positioning
And now we've pinned that last leg in place, we're just going to glue the last leg back onto the spider's body. And this particular spider is a lightning huntsman, it was donated to me by Jeremy from Jeremy's Wild World. He raises some amazing true spiders. You just pop a little bit of glue on the end of the leg and then pop it back into the carapace where it would have been and then pin around the leg and it will dry in that position. Be careful you don't get any glue onto the board with the leg because the leg will then stick to the board rather than the body. So that's the beautiful Huntsman Spider finish, pinned flat, but you can so you can frame it or pop it into a dome up on a piece of cork bark. The next one is the David Bowie Huntsman, and I'm just showing you how to pin this on top of a piece of polystyrene pinned into the pinning board. You can pop the legs around it loosely, so you can then pin it in a slightly raised position in the dome. And don't forget this pedi pal. So now I'm just sticking a piece of wood to the base of the dome. I buy these in from Hobbycraft. They're just jars that I turn upside down. And then I stuck some dry moss into it, which is from Amazon. I'm now drying some dry roses that I've dried out myself. So I just buy roses from Tesco, hang them upside down. They take about two weeks and then obviously snip the ends off and glue them in around where you want them on your dome obviously this is the arty bit you need to make sure they're pushed in quite firmly and then you need to leave them to dry for at least half an hour before doing anything else And then you take your spider specimen that you've pinned, so it takes around a week to dry. Take it with the pin still in through the carapace, remove all the other pins. Pop some glue onto your piece of wood or wherever you want to position your spider. Quite a lot of glue. And then what I do is take the spider on the pin and push that pin into the wood where the glue is quite firmly. Being careful not to damage your spider in any way. Now you can do this with your raised spider in a slightly different position. This one's one I've done raised. It's a bit fiddly, but you get there.
No, I actually ended up taking the pin out of this one, I think, from what I remember, because it just wouldn't go into the piece of wood, which is fine, just got to be gentle with your specimen. And then reapplying some glue and popping it on. If you leave your pin in and you leave it to dry for like half an hour, you can just take a pair of snips and take the end of the pin off without destroying your spider, obviously. Just be careful. But that is the finished product ready for the glass lid to go on. And here's some examples. So, what do you think? I hope you enjoyed that. That's how to make a spider dome. It's, you know, obviously you want to do it in your own style, but it's just a little guide to help you along your way. If you have any comments, then please leave them below. I'm always interested to hear your thoughts. Um, as always, if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe for future videos and the notification bell to notify you. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Face in your face